You know, one of the most annoying things when it comes to opt-in forms is the inability to have opt-in forms which are intelligent, you know, opt-in forms that know that, you know what, this person who has landed on this page is a member of this level, so therefore do not show this form. So that's why I don't really use a lot of opt-in forms on my website. But you know what, things have changed. The update that was uh, released by Wishlist member allows us to display content, or in this case, opt-in forms, based on membership levels or based on whether the person is logged in or not logged in. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to create this on a normal page on a Divi website. Let's dive in. Let me show you how to do it my website so what i'm going to do quickly is to create a brand new page so i'm going to come over here to pages and also by the way i forgot to mention this uh if you want to buy wishlist member or divi the link to that is in the video description below they also come with bonuses when you purchase them all right so okay let's go ahead now so let's build a brand new page so i'm going to click here on add new and then i'm going to give this page a name so let's just call this my page use divi builder so for this example, we are going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to come over here and click on start building. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and add a single column. And in that column, we're going to add a uh, text module like that. And then in here, we're just going to add our dummy text like that. Great. I'm going to save this. And then let's just add another module here. But this time, this is going to be an image. There we go. And I'm just going to select my image from here. So the image I am going to go with is, let's go with this one here. Upload an image. There we go. So now we have our image. I'm going to save. And back over here, I am just going to uh, go into my design here and reduce the size. This is a bit too much. So let's go down to about 70 and save. Okay. So pretty much that's what I have uh, so far on my page. Now let's add our opt-in form. So I'm going to come over here now. Click on this plus button and let's add a single uh, column. Here we're going to add an email opt-in like that. Now it's time to design this email opt-in because as you can see here by default, it doesn't look very exciting. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on this. So I'm just going to replace a bit of this text here with, uh, with my own text. Okay, that's a bit too much. So I'm going to delete some of this. Next, I'm going to come over here to the button and I'm just going to say download now. Now you can see here we have this title that we need to uh, make sure we add in here. So I'm going to say, so I'm going to say your bonus is here. All right. Now let's stylize this. So I'm going to go all the way down here to my background. I'm going to add this orange, but you know what? That's a bit too bright. So I'm going to come over here and bring this down a little bit like that. Next, I'm going to come over here to design and I'm going to go to my border because I need to add some rounded corners here just to clean it up a little bit. There we go. So three is fine. We just want to keep things very subtle. Next, I'm going to come over here to layout because I prefer to have the text here on the top. Okay, there we go. All right. So I have these fields here, first name, last name, and email. I'm going to come over here now and disable some of these fields. So I'm going to come over here, disable those two. So all I have now is email and the download. Now it's time to stylize this text. So let's go over here to design. And then I'm going to click on my heading here change this to poppins. Next, we're going to change the paragraph text as well. Change this to poppins. Now you can see here it's on a light background and this does not read very well. So I am going to change my color here and just add a dark gray. So I think that's going to work. Next, I'm going to do the same to the title here. So I'm going to go back over here to my design, click on this paintbrush tool and add my color. And again, it's going to be a gray. Let's go with that. Right now it's time to stylize the button. So I'm going to come over here activate use custom styles for button now this is very important because this is what gives us the access to work on the design of our button so let's add the color of our button here the text is going to be white that's fine now the background let's go with this okay we're going to go with that red excellent so pretty much we have most of the elements that we need here i just need to make sure that my text here is aligned center like that and then i'm going to do the same to the paragraph text as well align this to the center and that's looking good. Right. So now that I have this all set, the next step now is to um, 
come back over here to content. So in your case, you want to make sure that uh, you connect your email opt-in with your email service provider. So by doing that, every time someone opts in, they're going to be added onto the mailing list on the database. Okay, so to do that, you want to come over here to email account, choose your email provider. So let's say you use ConvertKit, you can just choose it here, click on add. They're going to ask you to use your API key and your name. Just add those here, hit submit and pretty much you are good to go. All right, so now that I have all these fields here, what I'm going to do now is to save this and I'm going to go now into my row settings. So in here, I'm going to go to design, sizing, reduce this back down to about 60, click on advanced, wishlist member. So this is where now we have all the options. So Currently, this is going to be visible to everyone. But if you click on this drop down, you can assign this to show to members or people that are not logged in or logged in. You can also choose the membership levels here. So I prefer the membership levels. So I'm going to come over here. Now you can see here I have level one and level two. I already, I'd already gone ahead and created these levels, but I'm going to show you in a moment how to create that. So now I'm going to choose my level by selecting here level one. I want to save that. So now my opt-in form has been created. All I have to do now is to save this page and then back over here. I'm just going to work on my um, paragraph text here. Change this to pop-ins as well because we just want to make sure everything is consistent here. There we go. And um, I guess I need a title there. So let's go into our text and make some of this text work as our title. So I'm going to highlight it, set this to heading one, and this can be in capital. Okay, great. So now I can save. I'm going to save one more time. So what I'm going to do next now is to show you how to create your membership levels. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to go to a new tab. And this is where I'm going to show you now how to work with wishlist member and create a membership level. So here I'm going to go ahead now and click on setup. So at the moment I have level two and level one. So to add a new level, you just want to click here on this plus button and give your membership level a name. So I'm going to call this level three, hit apply. All right, so now that we've added our level three, let's see now if this shows. I'm going to come over here to advanced wishlist member. And now you can see here I have level one, level two, level three. So I can then select my levels here depending on what I need to show. So in this example here, I want to show this opt-in to members of level two. Okay, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to save the page and then I'm going to exit the visual builder. So if I scroll down here and notice that nothing shows, and that is because I am not on level two. So if I come over here now, let's double check. So I'm going to click here on members and they just should be me as a member. So you can see I'm not a member of any level. So if I come uh, over here and set myself to level two and click and hit add to level, if I come back and refresh the page, that form should know, should show now. And there we go. Now it's showing. And that's because I've added myself onto level two. But if I come back here and change my level to a totally different one. So let's say I go to level three and hit move to level. That form should not show. So let's see what happens. I'm going to come back over here, refresh. And there we go. It's not showing. So as you can see, this is a very powerful way to show contents based on membership levels and also based on whether users are logged in or not logged in. And to achieve this, we are using Wishlist Member and Divi. So this integration is very, very powerful and you can use this on your existing membership website or your online course website. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.